kalakwan siya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And it's me again, Kazi. And first of all, I want to thank everyone who subscribed in my channel. Because as of now, I am already in 500 something. I think 540 plus or 550 subscribers. So thank you so much to everyone who are new here. And I hope you enjoy all of my videos. And if you're new here and if you haven't subscribed yet, you can just click on the subscribe button below and just enjoy the rest of the video. So for this vlog, I will teach you how to create plan and organize your own itinerary, your own travel itinerary using only your smartphones. So I guess this will help a lot of travelers out there, mostly those first-time travelers. So if you are a first-time traveler or if you have plans in traveling solo or if in your group you are the one who is actually planning all of your trips for your company and so on, this might help you. So. If you want to learn how to create your own travel itinerary using only your smartphone, please keep on watching. So first, you need of course the apps, the mobile apps. So what are those? In my case, I'm only using five applications of course and the first one is the airline ticketing app. In my preference, I'm using trip.com. You can use your favorite airline or whatsoever. You can use whatever airline you want to, but I suggest to use the trip.com. From my experience, trip.com is actually cheaper than Cebu Pacific, Air Asia, Philippine Airlines, Skyscanner. Trip.com is much cheaper. Hindi ko napapakita yung comparison ng prices on this vlog. You can check that on your own. You can search that and you can really tell that. I'm stating the fact that it's really cheaper than the usual airline. And then second one is the search engine application, which is the Google or Yahoo or whatever is your preference, but I myself, I'm using Google. Third one is the navigation app or the maps that you call. In my preference, I'm using Google Maps. <laughs> then the fourth one is the hotel booking app. You can use Agoda, you can use Airbnb or whatever. But in my preference, I am only using Booking.com. Well, may mga times din na ginagamit yung Airbnb, but sobrang minsan lang nun. Agoda, never. Later, explain ko kung bakit yun yung mga gusto kong app. Then for the last one, for the fifth mobile application, it will be the Activity Ticketing app. This is where you will purchase all of your advance tickets, all of your uh, theme park tickets, train tickets. It might be your tour bus or sort of DIY transportation, depending on your location or whatever. In my preference, I am only using Clook.com, but you can use any of those if you want. But I suggest this one. This is not a sponsored vlog, by the way. I am only stating what I've been using for so long in my years of traveling, so that's it. So now I will show you the one by one step on how to create your travel itinerary using your smartphone. So, first of course is the airline ticketing app because you have to book your flights ahead of time. Because you can't get the flight if you don't have a plane ticket, right? So, in my case, I'm using trip.com. Sa mga first time jan, kung never pa kayo nakita ng airline ticketing app, so you will choose the flight you will be choosing from N2. I'll be giving you the Taipei as an example. So this one is Taipei. For example, it's January 21 to 24, 2019. By the way, I'm suggesting that you should select the weekdays because weekends are always expensive, mostly the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday combination. That's a big no-no because <laughs> the airline companies actually assume that people always travel weekends. 
So, I'll be going for the weekdays instead since you have a leave and you can spend that. Wala ang problem. <laughs> okay, so, for example, I'll be going from January 21 to January 24. That is actually Monday to Thursday. You know what? Sunday to Tuesday is fine. Saturday to Monday is fine. But never use the Friday to Sunday. So, dadlal ko na. Ayun, 21 to 24. Next. Search. Uh, trip.com actually ira return niya sa yo lahat ng airline so you have as you can see you have Air Asia you have Cebu Pacific Air you have Philippine Airlines you have China Airlines everything but yeah there are still airlines na wala di sa trip.com but mostly na ginagamit ng fit sa mga Filipinos meron dito so of course pipiliin natin yung pinaka cheap kasi budget traveler tayo so this one is actually 11 p.m. to 1 to 1 a.m. Yun talaga yung mga cheap na flights. Kung gusto niyo ng cheap na flights, get the midnight flights. In my case, I'll be choosing Monday 11 p.m. So ang dating ko na nito, start na ng travel ko niya is malamang Tuesday na kasi gabi ako bumiyahe. So so, isipin ko rin, do I have to adjust kung dadating ba ako doon ng Tuesday? Will it be fine or whatever? Kasi Monday ka dumating. Monday ka umalis, Tuesday ka ng madaling araw dati. So, the day one will start on Tuesday. Then, then you have to be there for three days para masulit mo siya. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, dapat ang uwi ko is Thursday night. Tignan natin kung merong Thursday night na flight. So, ang flight na pabalik is, oh my god. 135, 955. So this is not a good combination because the night trip is actually expensive, and then the early trip is actually too early. It's 135 a.m. and so it's I'm gonna change this one. So now I will change this to Friday. I will be now Monday to Friday because I'll be getting the Monday night flight and then the Thursday. Thursday night flight or Friday ng madaling araw as in 1 a.m. Ganon. Titignan natin, ha? So, let's see. Ayan, meron ako nakita na 8,000 lang. So, same yung papunta is 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Next. Okay, yung pabalik natin. Ayan. Ayan yung pabalik. So, you see, meron dito na 1 a.m. ng Friday. So, talagang saktong sakto na sakop na sakop yung oras mo hindi ka mabibitan dito kasi ang uwi mo noon is bali lumalabas Thursday night because you have to be in the airport 2 or 3 hours before right so i'll be choosing this 135 am it has no baggage it is non refundable and wala siyang travel insurance i guess so you have to book this and then yan lalagyan mo na din yung ano mo yung name ng passengers mo information and hindi ko mapakita yung payment details but in trip.com you can own, you can use your debit or credit card wala yun lang wala siya nung kagaya ng Cebu Pacific na pwede mo siyang bayaran on 7-Eleven pwede mo siyang bayaran in 24 hours or whatever so that's it for the plane ticket for the first one and then for the second one we'll now use our search engine which is the Google ano nga ba yung mga i-search dito you have to search kung saan kayo pupunta. Ang advice ko, ako kasi, lagi kong sinesearch agad, is the top 10 tourist spots for that country. Kung ano yung prefer nyo na puntahan, ako kasi top 10, kaya top 10 tourist spots in Taiwan search. Ako kasi, ano, depende naman yung sa mga prefer nyo. Ako, kapag nagka-travel ako, ang favorite kong puntahan is theme parks. Meron naman iba dyan na mga nature, yung mga gusto nila, yung iba naman extreme adventures. But for me, theme parks yung number one na talagang pumapasok sa isip ko when it comes to out of the country travels. Ayan, makita natin dito yung top 10. Kadalasan dito sa trip advisor ako natitingin ito. Top 10 best tourist spots in Taiwan. Top 10 best actually. Para talagang walang masayang dun sa punta nyo. So, ayan. Lumabas na siya. Top 10. Ayan. Dami dito. 
Ayan, things to do in Taiwan. For example, Taipei 101, Leofu Village Dream Park, Taroko George, National Park, etc. Siyempre, hindi naman yan lahat pupuntahan mo. So, mamimili ka lang dyan kung ano yung trip mo. For example, ako, ito. Siyempre, si ano nga ako, diba? Siyempre, si ano nga ako, diba? Si Theme Park Girl. So, una kong titignan dyan yung Leofu Village. Ngayon, yung number 2 and number 3, Yung ating search engine sa kayo navigation app natin, si Google Search sa si Google Map is sabay natin siyang gagamitin. So, nakita ko ngayon ito si Leofu Village Theme Park. So, ang gagawin ko is isa-search ko siya kung nasaan siya sa map. Okay, so let us search. So, ako, ang ginagawa ko dito is sineset ko siya as favorites. Ayan, nakita ko na siya kung nasan siya. Kasi, ayan, so, nakita nyo nakasave na siya kasi nakapunta na kami doon. So, ito yung pinipindot ko. Kunwari, hindi pa siya nakasave. Ini-start ko siya. Nalagay ko siya sa start places. Ganyan. Kasi kapag ka in-start mo siya doon sa Google, makikita mo dito, bakit ay lumabas? Makikita mo siya na nakastar doon sa map. Kita mo siya sa map na may star. Uy, lumabas ka, napapahiya ako. <laughs> Saan yung star? Ayan. Yung kagaya ng yellow na to. Ayan. So, kunwari, um, yung top 10 nyo, or kung ano man yung mga na-search nyo sa Google, search nyo siya isa-isa sa map, then you will see that the stars are visible on your map. And from there, you will now choose where to stay. Kaya nasa huling part, yung ating booking, yung ating hotel, nasa second to dala siya. Because the first thing that you must do, is you need to rectify where you want to go before where you will stay. Why? Kasi, syempre, hindi naman pwede na yung pag mo is super layo dun sa mga pupuntahan nyo. Nasa pinakadulo or what. Ako, I prefer na nasa center lang siya. So, let's move forward to the fourth one. So, for the fourth one, we need to use the hotel booking app which is, I prefer the booking.com. So, sa mga hindi pa ulit nakita for the first time travelers na lagi lang bumibili ng package sa mga travel agencies, now you will see the booking.com or any hotel booking app. This will be like this. First, of course, you have to search for the location. So, for me, I will check on Taipei. So since we chose the January 21 night, and then we will arrive on the January 22nd, I will still choose the first day to be January 21. But for the checkout, it will be January 24 because our flight is January 25, 1 a.m. So checkout na tayo ng 24. Okay, so select dates. Adults, kung ilan kayo, travel purpose, leisure, whatever. Okay, I will check for the properties now. So it's your choice. You can look into some reviews or ratings like this. This one space in this is where we stayed when we are in Taiwan. So I'm giving you a great example. So in this app, you will see the address here. And of course the price. And then, yeah, the ratings, the reviews. It's really important to read reviews because most of them are really accurate because those are from past customers. Sa booking.com kasi, you can't comment if you didn't really stay in there. So, this might be legit. And yes, it is. Ang maganda pa dito, why do I use booking.com is because most of them do not require credit card, not like the Airbnb or the Agoda that you have to pay first before confirming your booking. In Booking.com, you can confirm your booking without paying anything. Like, you can pay at the property upon check-in. Ang hahanapin niya talaga yung no prepayment needed. And titignan niyo kung free cancellation ba siya or may bayad yung cancellation because some of them, meron silang date range when you can get your cancellation for free tapos meron naman na may so iba-iba siya you have to read every single detail para hindi kayo magkamali ng pindot so that's it for our hotel booking 
And of course, kapag ka nakapili na kayo ng hotel nyo, before proceeding to book that hotel, you must go back to the Google Maps. You have to make sure that the location of your hotel really fits your desired tour. For example, here. Kasi diba, pinakita ko nga sa inyo yung mga stars para makita nyo kung malapit ba kayo or tama lang ba yung lugar. So, in here, I will check the space in. For example, Hengyang Branch. Okay. So, the location of this is just near my starred location. Yung starred location ko, yun yung mga pupuntahan ko. So, okay. So, pwede akong dumaan doon. Etc. Etc. Pwede kong unahin si star number one, then proceed, proceed dun sa next, and so on and so forth. So that's it. So now you have your checklist tayo. So now you have your plane ticket. You have your destinations. Siyempre kayo na yung mag-list nun. Hindi ko na papakita kung paano mag-list. Kasi kayo na yung bahala doon. And now you have your hotel booking. And you already made sure that the location is perfect for your tour. The last one is the Activity Ticketing App. Ano ba yung purpose nito? The Activity Ticketing App is a must. Halo na dun sa mga nagtra-travel ng solo para less hassle kayo. Kailangan nakaprint na yung mga tickets nyo bago kayo umalis ng bansa. So again, for the Activity Ticketing App, you can choose anything of your choice. Kung ano yung prefer nyo gamitin. But for me, I am using the Clook.com. Sa Clook.com, you can also use your credit or debit card. And it's hassle-free because you can just scan the QR code afterwards or you can have your printed ticket. So, ganito lang siya. Add to cart mo lang siya kung gusto mo siya. Like, ito kunwari, yung Legofu Village Team Park ticket, add to cart ko na yan. Tapos, syempre, yung date, dapat sigurado na kayo kung anong araw kayo pupunta doon. For in my case, kunwari, January 22 ako pupunta. Ayan, tapos select ko lang siyang ganun. Tapos, check out ko na siya. Ganun lang siya kasimple. O, oh, diba? Ang dali lang. So, that's it for our step-by-step -step process on how to create your travel itinerary. So, for this time, I will just give you a piece of advice on how to draft your day one, day two, and day three. If you are in a three-day travel, you can spend your day one in the tourist spots, which are a bit lighter. Avoid the extreme adventures on your day one so that you can prepare that for your day two. In your day 3, of course, you know yung mga pasalubonghan. Use your Google again to search for the place to buy the best pasalubong in town. <laughs> that might be Chinatown or some market. Kung hindi ka naman masyadong social, pwede ka na dun sa mga changi changi abroad. Well, that's it. So just make sure to have it all prepared. And for additional, you can watch travel vlogs so that kita mo talaga kung ano yung feels na kung paano pumunta dun or what are the negative and the positive when it comes to visiting this certain tourist spot. So that's how you create, plan and organize your trip, your DIY trip. I hope that you learned something. I hope that now you will be confident in creating your own travel stuff. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a lot from this video. If you have questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. And if you like this video, please hit on the like button or share it with your friends or anyone who needs it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And that's it. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video. See you next trip. Bye-bye.